We're here today situated on the Otway coast between Aries Inlet and Anglesey, having a look at one of our remote sensing cameras that we've got positioned on one of our coastal tender properties. So remote sensing cameras are basically, as the name says, they're, they're cameras that we put out in remote locations and we can leave there for a period of time to get images of what might be moving in front of those cameras. The camera has a simple sensor that's linked to the camera and as something moves in front of the camera, uh, in front of the sensor, the camera triggers and takes a photo. So it's a good way that we can basically see what's going on in that site when we can't always be there. So we can put them out on sites for lengthy periods of time and see what animals, either introduced or native, are using that site. So basically we're using these cameras on our coastal tender properties which are situated throughout the coastline um, in a way that we can basically engage with land managers to inform them what's going on in their property so they can see basically what animals are using the habitat that they're trying to protect through the coastal tender program. Um, it's also a good way to trial different management techniques so we can put these cameras out there in front of fox baiting stations to see what's actually moving through those areas, what's attracted to the bait and what's in fact taking the bait. So it's a good way that we can one, become informed about what native animals are using the site and then another way that we can basically guide management into the future. Coastal Tender is a project which is run through the Karangamite CMA's Coastal Engagement and Incentive Program. Um, basically funded through the Caring for Our Country program from the Australian Government and the Victorian State Government. Uh, it basically aims to deliver incentive funding to private and public land managers along the coast working to restore environmental values and protect coastal biodiversity. So we've got a lot of biodiversity preferencing in the tender so we're looking for high quality vegetation, habitats to protect for rare and threatened species. So today we've used these cameras for probably the past two months and we've had them out on three or four different properties throughout the coastline with varied results. Obviously it takes a while to get used to the camera. Um, to date we've got quite a few different native species in the cameras. We've got um, swamp wallabies, redneck wallabies, we've got um, a couple of uh, Australian ravens fighting in mid-air which was a pretty cool image we've got. We've also got a bush rat, um, a little native quail in the photo so we can pick up a variety of different species. Uh, it's hoped that we can basically get land managers trained up in using these cameras and we can lend them out to the land managers involved in Coastal Tender and they can use them on a more regular basis to see what's going on on their property. We're at another site now where we've been using our remote sensing cameras. Um, this is a coastal tender property at 13th Beach, uh, which is managed by Barwon Coast. Uh, they were successful in getting funding to do woody weed control, vegetation protection and uh, fox control. So they've been using baiting as a control technique. Um, we've been using our remote sensing cameras to provide them with a little bit of information about what's taking the fox baits and what might be going near the fox baits. So what animals are being attracted to it, both native and introduced. Barwon Coast is a local committee of management. We look after the coastal reserves of Barwon Heads and Ocean Grove. Uh, that's a stretch of 13 kilometres of coastal frontage. We've been involved with the Coastal Tender project for roughly six months now. And the Coastal Tender has enabled Bowen Coast to get out and about in an area that hasn't previously been on our work schedule. The Coastal Tenders also bring with it the motion sensor cameras, which has been great in identifying the fauna that frequent the area. We've had them set up on our fox bait stations and that's enabled us to see the fauna and also what's been taking the baits.